folks! In this video, we will be discussing the process of adding links to elements in code design. Links play a crucial role in any project as they allow you to connect to external pages or different pages within the same project. So, how can you accomplish this? Let's find out. Regardless of the element type, whether it's a text element, button, or image, the steps remain the same. To begin, select the element you wish to link. In this case, I'll choose this portfolio element. Now, navigate to the right sidebar where you'll find the link option. Click on it, and you'll see a drop-down menu with six different options. We will explore each of them in detail. The first option is None. This option sets the default value for the selection and removes any existing links from the element. The second option is Page. By selecting this option, you can link to a different page within the same project. For example, if you want to link to the Portfolio page, simply select on the Portfolio page from the drop-down. Now, when a user clicks on this particular link, it will take them to the Portfolio page. You also have an Anchor option, which I'll explain in the next step. Moving on, the third option is Current Page Section. This is useful when you want to scroll to a specific element within the same page. Let's take the example of the Contact page and the Contact button. When a user clicks on the Contact button, you may want to scroll down to a particular section on the same page. To achieve this, select the target element, in this case, the photo or the contact form. Then click on this button to assign anchor point to this element. You will be taken to the property tab where you can assign an anchor name for the element. For instance, let's name it photo. Additionally, you have the option to enable smooth scroll behavior from top to bottom. Once you've set the anchor point, go back to the top and navigate to the link settings for the contact element. Here you will find the footer option. You can test this by clicking on the contact button, and it should scroll down to the correct section smoothly. Moving forward, the fourth option allows you to add a custom URL. This is useful if you want to link to a different page, such as a shop, which is external to the current project. Simply enter the URL in the designated field. If you want the link to open in a new tab, you can check the corresponding checkbox. Moreover, you can also add a link that directs the user to their email application. By entering an email address, clicking on the button will open the default email application with the specified address. Similarly, you can add a link to your phone number. Clicking on the link will open the relevant app on the user's device, allowing them to make a call. I hope this video has been helpful in understanding how to add links to elements in code design. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. See ya!